we are asked to simplify the given square root expressions. In the first example, we have the square root of the quantity nine plus 16. I included the order of operations below because notice how the first step in the order of operations is to perform all operations within grouping symbols or parentheses. And whenever we have a radical, or in this case a square root, we treat the square root as if it is grouping the expression under the square root, which is called the radicand. To make this more clear, we can write the given square root as the square root, and then in parentheses, the quantity nine plus 16. Simplifying inside the parentheses first, nine plus 16 is equal to 25. This simplifies to the square root of 25. 25 is equal to five times five. So if it's helpful, we can write this as the square root of five squared. The square root undoes the squaring. This simplifies to one factor of five. A common mistake when simplifying these types of expressions is to think that the square root of the quantity a plus b equals the square root of a plus the square root of b, which is not true. In this case, we have the square root of the quantity nine plus 16, which does not equal the square root of nine plus the square root of 16. And let's simplify both sides to show the left side is not equal to the right side. Well, we know the left side is equal to five. We just simplify that. The square root of nine is equal to three because three times three or three squared is equal to nine plus the square root of 16 is equal to four because four times four or four squared equals 16. On the right side we have three plus four which is seven and of course five does not equal seven. For our second example, again the first step is to simplify the radicand or the expression under the square root. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as the square root and then in parentheses the quantity 25 plus 144 Next, we simplify the radicand, or determine the sum under the square root. 25 plus 144 equals 169. This simplifies to the square root of 169. 169 is equal to 13 times 13, which means this is equal to the square root of 13 squared. And again, the square root undoes the squaring. This simplifies to one factor of 13. And again, the given square root of the square root of the quantity 25 plus 144 does not equal the square root of 25 plus the square root of 144. We know the left side is equal to 13. 13 does not equal the square root of 25 is equal to five because five times five or five squared equals 25 plus the square root of 144 is equal to 12 because 12 times 12 or 12 squared equals 144. Notice how on the left side we have 13 and 13 does not equal five plus 12 which equals 17. I hope you found this helpful.